So according to Mark Berman on of the New York Post, so obviously take this with a grain of salt, but at the same time, Mark Berman has been very active on the NBA scene, so he's you know reported things actually well, and I have nothing against him, but it's just the New York Post, you know. But Mark Berman himself has not done me wrong on any of his reporting. Tell me down below if you have anything against him. But basically, Cam Reddish has requested a trade. And he wants a larger role, quote-unquote. Basically, the thing is, is Cam Reddish, you haven't played defense at all since he came in. But he shows the ability to be a solid player in the NBA because he has the tools. Six foot eight. he was a five-star recruit. And... Like, I just wanna hear your thoughts down below. Let's get right into it. So, I'm in the car now. I'm on the way to class. But we're gonna continue this video. You're gonna have highlights and shit. Girlfriend, graciously right here. Just, she's probably annoyed. But either way, we're talking about the Toronto, not Toronto, because like, look, we're talking about Cam Reddish. I wanna say Toronto would be awesome for him, but he wants a larger role. So we would uh, automatically assume, hey, send him to Utah. Or maybe you could think of the Thunder, but the Thunder have so many players and the same thing is going on with the Rockets honestly is probably the best landing spot out of all the rebuilding teams. Orlando, they have too many wings and players of Cam Reddish style, okay? But even with the Rockets, KJ Martin requested a trade and they have Jay Sean Tate, Josh Christopher. Josh Christopher's a little undersized, more of a shooting guard if we wanna say. But with that being said, I do believe probably we would say the best fit right there out of the, all the rebuilding teams, Thunder. I, I guess the Spurs are a team that I honestly, now that I come think of it, they're just a new team that's jumped in. The Spurs, even the Pacers would be cool because I like the idea of Benedict Matherin, Chris Duarte, and Cam Reddish. And then, you know, obviously Tyrese Halliburton being the franchise cornerstone. And they will see if Miles Turner as a full-time five can take over. But I think at this point, you look at this and you think, hey, is this a team, is, is there a team besides the Utah Jazz? And if the Utah Jazz were interested, he wouldn't be requesting a trade because he'd be aware that he could go to the Utah Jazz. That's my thought process right there. Why is he putting out this remark if he could easily just go to Utah? I guess he doesn't want to go to Utah. People are going to say the Lakers because they need wings. And I guess that he would get a larger role theoretically there. There's also, you know, the Sacramento Kings, Golden State Warriors. All those teams are good, like would be fits for him. There's a plethora of teams that need wings. But the larger role, which I believe is he wants more scoring opportunity. I think the Spurs right now are the number one out of the rebuilding teams. Then you come down and you think about like, I don't even know. I don't even know besides... You know, the Milwaukee Bucks have a lack. If you want to look at a contending team, I just think the Pacers and the Spurs are the two best fits for him. Toronto obviously would be cool because, you know, you get a sh shooting working on. The Clippers would be the same thing. But besides that, I don't even know. But that's it. I want to hear your thoughts. Let me hear. So now I'm in the bathroom. I'm going to wrap this video up. I basically wanted to say is that I don't even know, like, like and subscribe, do all that good stuff, and go check out my NBA show daily, link in the description, I'm just milking this to, you know, the four minute marker, I'm also mid piss, so I had to get the stream going, that's why it's kind of struggling to speak, but now we're, we're streaming boys, we're streaming, so let me hear your thoughts down below, like and subscribe, I gotta go to acting for the camera.